Fight the cold. We need to get genera the generator working. It provides heat and power to the other buildings. Without it, we'll, we'll, we'll freeze to death. Ah, aha. Okay, workers. Uh, max. Uh, first thing we do, we power it on. Steam level one. There we go. Our mission is uh, secure raw food supply. Build a cookhouse and start preparing meals. Okay. No roof are over our heads. Housing problem. Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. We'd better do something about it. Uh, I'll I'll provide shelter for half the people. I I I'll make that. Uh, I promise. One main objective fulfilled. Yeah, that that gives us hope. We'll survive this. He managed to complete the, uh, the objective. A word of advice. Critical shortage. The number of sick is rising, and we don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Consider signing the emergency shift law. Okay, let's have a look. Emergency shift. Sometimes we have to concentrate on task. On the task at hand. At the cost of everything else. Or die. New ability. You can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours and discontent will rise slightly. Let's sign that law. New law. A new law has passed. <laughs> Ooh, what? Slightly? <laughs> that's that's a good like 20%. What the hell? <laughs> we need some people to work here. Zero are available. Um you people Let's get you working here. We don't have any anyone here. Let's grab some people from here and put them in here. It will make people healthy again. Uh, what's this again? Wait. Oh no, I built two! Oh, that was a big mistake. No, no, no. <laughs> Cancel that. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, tent. Yes, we'll build the tent. Instead. And here, and here, and that's all we could afford. You can introduce a new law. Well, let's do that then. Adaption. Child labor, safe jobs, or child shelters. Cemetery, corpse disposal, stain lab radical treatment, food additives, and or soup, fighting arena, or extended shifts. Child shelters, hope will rise. Providing all children with a place in a child shelter gives a permanent hope bonus. I'm wondering if I'm actually going to go with the child shelter and get some apprentices down the line. That sounds like a good deal. We're going to do that. We're going to sign that law. Shelter promise fulfilled. Hope rises. Good. What are they going to do all day? Watch the snowfall. Kids should do something useful during their time in the shelter. <laughs> All right, people. Calm down, calm down. Children cared for. The child shelter is ready and the children are safe inside. Hope rises. We can introduce a new law. What is this? Education is key to our future. Let's teach our children medicine so they can keep help. Uh, can they, so they can help with the sick. Let's keep them healthy. Housing protests. Sleeping outside. Captain, some of our people are protesting against the lack of housing. I'll provide them with shelter right away. You'll have one day to provide shelter for ten people. I'll provide them with shelter right away. People from our convoy. With basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You'll need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. I'm going to put some workers in here. While these fellas are going to provide us with food, these will make the food. We'll uh, make them work 24-hour shifts. Provide shelter for your citizens. Or at least half of your citizens. Okay. I can do that. Build a tent. When we get more resources. <laughs> 
Build a workshop, build a beacon, rescue survivors of our last expedition. Well, people are not, are not hungry anymore. That's good. Can I stop them from working 24 hours? No. Well, at least uh, we got all that in hand. One of our people died. Oh, man. On day four, one of our people died. I died. One died in work accident. Barney Cudden, a worker. A wor word of advice. First death. One of our people has just died. We need a way to dispose of the body. Consider signing the cemetery or corpse disposal law. Hope will rise if I build a cemetery. No risk of disease from unburied bodies. Bodies are preserved for potential future use. Well, we're going to go with the cemetery, but we can't sign a law yet, just yet. And also this. Death of overwork. One of our people died suddenly during an emer emergency shift. Uh, yeah, we're going to end uh, those for today and get a bit of hope. Hope rises. Ah, research goal. Add new research. Let's go with the beacon first then, since that's our that's what we're aiming for. You can do a new law. That's not the law button though. This is. We're gonna go with the cemetery. There we go. Cemetery established. Now we can put our dead to rest. All right, we've built the beacon. Uh, I think we're going to go with the sawmill. A beacon allows us to send scouts to search the wilderness for goods and survivors. All right, right by the cemetery. <laughs> sure, why not? As good as a place, uh, as good a place as any. Beacon built. We're no longer lost and blind. Oh yes, very dramatic. Lost Expedition. Send scouts here to learn more about this place. Uh, but we're going to go here first. Scout needed to create five workers and 40 wood. Jesus. Scout unit number one has been sent to the Lost Expedition. Okay. Sawmill researched. Right, let's find something new to do. I think we're going to go for the, the upgrade. Oh, it's 50 wood. Damn it. We pass a new law. Let's go with radical treatment. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. <laughs> I, I just hope they won't cut off my leg if I fall ill. At least it will be saving lives. Yeah, sure. Scouts have reached the Lost Expedition. Survivors! Search the area. Lost Expedition, a happy reunion. We enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcome us. Thank God you found us. Sites discovered. Crash site and sturdy shelter. You can send the survivors to the city. Survivors will be set out towards our city on their own. It will take longer and some of them may die. Uh, scouts will set out towards our city and bring them survivors quickly and safely with them. Um, we're gonna send the scout on to the sturdy shelter, I believe. Yeah. There we go. Let's research this level upgrade. Heating problem. Cold homes. Captain, some of our people are concerned about low temperature in their homes. Let's heat some homes. You'll have to start heating one of the... Hold homes within two days, then keep them heated for two days. Let's try to make it work for one of them. We can pass a new law. Anything we want to pass? The capacity of medical facilities is doubled. Using extra capacity will cause discontent. 
begin feed the sick people extra rations to help their recovery. We'll try this. Whatever gets them well faster. We need them. I can I get more food too? Look how pale I am. Uh, that's just the lack of sun. Search might provide wood, steam cores, and food rations. Discovered steel bridge. Steel bridge. We'll go to steel bridge. There we are. They've arrived. People from our convoy. Reunions. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships. But shouldn't there be more, uh, other settlements nearby? We will look for the others. Thirty-one new souls. Nice. Oh, right. I have to. Our people found a trail leading into the wilderness. We should follow it. We must find other people and ask them for help to secure our survival. Okay, now research. Allows to turn up the generator range for setting an extended heat zone. That's what I need. Start the research. The bridge is kept completely snow-free by a working automaton. We stop at the edge of the of a deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so at the huge autom automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. The automaton will safely reach our city on its own. Turn off the automaton and dismantle it to get two of those cores and a lot of steel. We'll send it to the city. Could I move people between... Like, if I assign them to the hunter's hut, when do they leave? At 1800. So we reassign them at 5 in the evening, and then <laughs> send them back in the morning. Does that work? I'm going to try that for the next night. <laughs> Survivors. This is a convoy carrying workers that got lost in the blizzard. They sought winter home. The workers were, who were riding in this convoy told us they were heading to, for the city of winter home. We were supposed to follow the signal from the beacon, but we couldn't pick it up. Well, we'll send them to the city. Any laws we want to pass? Ooh, prosthetics! Care house. The gravely ill are kept alive in care houses and no longer burden medical uh, medical posts. Residents of care houses eat half as much. Hope will rise slightly. You'll have to build a care house. That's fine, though. to research something new. More scouts. Yeah, we'll do more scouts. Weather station grim forecast. We found scientists' notes. They predict that the great cold is going to get much worse. There is also not a can of spam, not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry. It's obvious they've moved out for good. Let's go to Winterhome and a coal mine. Let's see what's in Winterhome, then. Oh. Ah, the automaton. Uh, let's make the automaton work on that one. We'll put more people in this one. More scouts researched. Nice. Hmm. The hothouse. A few hardy crops can be grown here, supplying up to 30 raw food per day. Free up some of the hunters. 30. That's twice the amount. Yeah, we're gonna... Oh, but it takes... Oh, wait, 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 wait. It takes a steam core to build, though. Hmm. Let's abort that for now. Hmm. Hunter's gear. Um. Uh, well, the hot house. Fuck it. The hot house is too good. I assume you're gonna. I'm gonna spend five workers there, and it's gonna produce twice as much food as the um, hunter's hut. Winter home. The fall of winter home. The streets of the ruined city are littered with a score with scores of dead bodies. God forgive us. 
We're eating our dead. There's no hope. Site discovered snow cliff and American camp. Ooh, two steam cores, though. We are alone. The news has shocked everyone in the city. There were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here. People living normal lives in homes heated by generators. But we're alone. Hope falls. Oh no, they're protesting. Coming here was a fool's errand. We should go back. Don't panic. We aren't dead yet. We have to learn from their mistakes. We should have stayed in London. Surely it couldn't have fallen like this. We should never have left Britain. Whoa, all my hope. No. Winter home has fallen. They're all dead. How will we survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. There's no hope for us here in the frozen desert. I must give them purpose. Decide now what will give them purpose and restore hope, or else our city will descend into the chaos that consumed Winterhome. Order and discipline, faith and spiritual strength. I mean, faith and spiritual strength can get people through a lot of shit, but... <laughs> I don't know. Order and discipline, faith. I mean, it's easier to manipulate people through faith, or so I believe at least. So this is kind of the preferred one, make them spiritual and, and faithful, and they'll follow you to the world's end. Give them order and discipline, that'll work for some people. A lot of people will feel oppressed. <laughs> I'm putting too much thought into this. I'm, I'm don't, I don't actually remember what the difference between the, these two are. So 